You're gonna take your index finger, middle finger, and you're gonna go right along the bone, come on down to where his watch band was. There you go. Now press in till you feel like a bump, something moving. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I see you breathing, so I know it has to be there somewhere. The longer it takes, the more my heart pounds, and all I can hear is my heart. <laughs> it's okay. I tell you what, why don't we come up about a half an inch up more? Do you feel anything? Got it. Now, we're going to count for a full minute. 57. I got 62. So very close. That's very good. We're going to listen to your lungs. Right ahead. OK? Listen for any crackling or wheezing, anything that sounds like Rice Krispie in the morning when you pour the milk in, you know? <laughs> OK. Next up. No crackles. Good. You're feeling for muscle strength to make sure that they're equal. Squeeze. Oh, he's strong. Very okay. good. Very now, good. Now, we're going to use a digital thermometer today. Don't bite it. <laughs> well, Ed, we are done with what I need to do for the paperwork. I just want to make sure that you have no questions before well, we leave. You're more than welcome. Anytime. OK, well, I'll take you up on that. I had thoughts of my dad when I'm sitting there with Ed that I would just be so proud to have had someone like Lisa interacting with my dad at the very end. And thank you for letting Linda come in and thank practice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 We're going to go ahead and head to the next home. OK. How many children? I have six. You have six kids. Your youngest is? He's 18. And the oldest just turned 23 in September. So you were pregnant nonstop, practically? No, uh, we're a combined family. We're oh, the Brady okay. Bunch. It, it's been very hard. Yeah. My husband and I both lost our jobs. We worked for General Motors for over 14 years, and uh, I'm not getting a 40-hour paycheck from Bright Star. It's yeah. hard. We haven't had a vacation since we got married. <laughs> we went to Cancun. I couldn't have asked for a better wedding, but the kids weren't there. That's the only thing I would have changed. It doesn't sound like your wages are that predictable. No. That's when my husband tried to approach me into looking somewhere else. I try to let him understand that the work will come, but you can only be patient so long. I'm proud that Lisa wanted to stay with Bright Star, but also sad of, as to how much personal stress that must cause. Lisa, I was very proud. In fact, I had a couple of times where I almost just wanted to break my cover because I just wanted to <laughs> hug you and say thank you for everything that my husband and I got in the business to do. Thank you for creating a job that I really get to connect with people. and. They make a difference in my life, too. You had talked about how, when you got married four years ago, the kids weren't able to be there. And that was your only regret. And you're so family-oriented. And so I'd like to recreate that. I want to, to send you back to Cancun <laughs> for a, a redo-over of your vows with yeah. you and your husband, all six of your kids, <laughs> and your two grandchildren, all 10 of you. I, I'm overwhelmed with your generosity. <laughs> But I know you're a worrier. We talked about your husband's getting ready to get laid off. So I want to make sure you know that while you're away, I'm going to pay as though you were working a 40-hour week. So your salary <laughs> is taken care of. Oh my gosh. And for the next six months, we're going to pay your mortgage. Oh, Lord. I can't say thank you enough. I wish I could give you a hug. Just we are going to do just that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. To know that someone appreciates the work that I do, who really cares. I've never had imagined anything like this, and I will be forever thankful.